Giga Texas has rolled out each Cybertruck in just seven minutes from the accelerating production line, a breakthrough confirmed by Joe Techmeyer. This rapid pace suggests that the manufacturer may soon catch up to a production speed of two or three minutes by the end of this year or into 2025. Deliveries for customers and non-Tesla employees are also gearing up to commence. In this episode, we'll also share insights into the practical range of the pickup truck when max towing in snowy conditions. So, how will the Cybertruck thrive in this upcoming period? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Recently, a shipment of over 100 Model Y vehicles and approximately 20 Cybertrucks was exported from the Tesla Gigafactory. We got this exciting news through close-up videos shared by Joe Techmeyer, who frequently operates drones to observe activities around Giga Texas. He also revealed some details that immediately say, wow, because it's hard to believe that Tesla's accomplished all this. How fast is Elon Musk pushing the production rate? Producing nearly 200 Cybertrucks a day is the craziest thing we want to talk about right now. Oh, you might say we're making that up because we all understand that Cybertrucks still tangled up in the mess known as the 4680 battery. But no, this is just Joe Techmeyer's observation, the most accurate reporter on everything happening inside Tesla's massive factory. He also estimated that Tesla would produce eight or nine Cybertrucks per hour at the factory, which implies that Elon Musk can now manufacture a pickup truck in only seven minutes. Wow. If they can maintain this pace throughout 2024, over 75,000 trucks will be produced, much higher than our expectations of only 10,000 for the year. As Techmeyer pointed out, you can see in the ship batch that Tesla is grouping Model Y and Cybertruck units together because these are the two models being produced the most at the factory. From late December till now, aside from the Foundation Series variant delivered to the luckiest thousand customers, other versions have been primarily prioritized for internal Tesla employees and celebrities. The production of the Cybertruck is sure to continue its rapid increase from now till the end of the year. As you know, the current standard pace at Giga Texas allows for rolling out a Model Y every 75 seconds, and the manufacturer is expected to achieve even fewer minutes, especially by 2025. Customers also don't need to worry too much because Tesla will start delivering to external customers by the end of this January. So the wait's almost over. Just hang in there and don't forget to keep following us for updates on Cybertruck production and deliveries. Now, let's delve into the real-world range of the Cybertruck as it tackles 11,000 pounds. How will Cybertruck operate in the cold and max towing? The 50% increase in the initial price of the Cybertruck may seem to dampen the enthusiasm of some initially optimistic customers. However, looking further into the future, this price hike only constitutes a very small proportion of the decision to purchase a Cybertruck. What's crucial is that as Tesla achieves significant improvements in the production process by 2025, the anticipated prices are expected to plummet. At that point, the primary concern will shift toward the issue of range not mentioning the $16,000 range extension option, which adds an additional 130 miles in its original state, the Cybertruck has a very limited maximum range of just 340 miles. The question then arises whether a 340-mile range is sufficient for a truck regularly used for heavy hauling and towing over long distances in challenging conditions. A range test for the Cybertruck was conducted by Zach Nelson from the popular YouTube channel Jerry Rig Everything. We understand that Zach's test was quite straightforward. He charged a Cybertruck to 100% overnight, attached a trailer weighing 11,000 pounds, which is the maximum towing capacity of the Cybertruck, and observed how far the Cybertruck could drive without running out of battery. The towing was conducted at highway speeds ranging from 65 to 70 miles an hour with a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. To provide additional context, the Cybertruck used by Zach for his test was a four-wheel drive variant with all-terrain tires and its official EPA-rated range is 318 miles. So, how far could the Cybertruck go under these challenging conditions? The range stopped at just 90 miles. That is indeed concerning, as expectations were for a significant decrease, but still within the range of around 130 to 140 miles. However, please be assured that this is not a falsehood. It's challenging to believe, but the test results indicate a range of only 90 miles under those demanding circumstances. Imagine towing a vehicle across the country and having to charge every 90 miles, coupled with the need to disconnect the trailer each time for charging. Seems like a significant drawback for the Cybertruck. Not stopping there, the cabin noise is also quite intense and could be worrisome, especially when the vehicle's towing 11,000 pounds. 
For drivers sensitive to noise-related headaches, it becomes challenging to accept these conditions. However, while towing at the maximum rated capacity in cold weather, the Cybertruck's operational range decreases by more than two-thirds, plummeting to just 90 miles. Interestingly, we were informed that even zero degrees Celsius isn't cold enough to cause significant battery degradation, and it's not where EVs truly start encountering difficulties. It raises concern about how the Cybertruck would perform in conditions at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Perhaps the range would be around 50 to 60 miles. What are your thoughts on this? Drop a comment below. If you're curious about how these results compare to other electric trucks, Zach conducted a similar towing test in similar weather conditions with the Rivian R1T. The Rivian R1T managed to cover a distance of 100 miles before running out of battery. On the other hand, the Ford F-150 Lightning covered a distance of 130 miles in Zach's tests, under sunny conditions with summer tires. What Zach's experiment reveals is that the Cybertruck performs similarly to all other electric trucks on the market in terms of long-distance towing capabilities. Why did Tesla bring a dirty Cybertruck to display over in China? Also yesterday, the Cybertruck officially made its appearance in the Asian market, and it's causing a stir in the Chinese community. Few expected Musk would follow through on what he posted up on X last week. Specifically last week, Musk posted on X stating that Tesla could send some Cybertruck prototypes for display in China. A Tesla China poster also mentioned that those interested in seeing the Cybertruck have until March 31st to vote on the city location they want it displayed in. Not long after that, the X Thinker Car account posted a picture of two Cybertrucks arriving in China, showing the two vehicles loaded on a trailer under a carport. In response to the post, Joe Techmeyer also commented with photos from a few days earlier at Tesla's Giga Texas, where it's easy to notice Cybertrucks being packaged and ready for shipment at the U.S. factory last week. Elon Musk and Tesla have yet to announce when the Cybertrucks will be displayed, but we believe it won't be long, possibly even later this week. However, there are some concerns about why this pickup, seemingly just taken for off-road testing, is now being hastily transported to Asia. It's puzzling, especially considering the Cybertruck's Tesla's easiest vehicle to clean. What do you think about this situation? The display of the Cybertruck here is essentially a promotional showcase, aimed at generating interest and attracting more fans to the product. However, Tesla won't officially sell it here, as Asian traffic laws aren't compatible with the Cybertruck. This is partly due to narrow road dimensions compared to the size of the Cybertruck, and the exterior made of stainless steel may not align well with the aesthetic performances of Asian customers. Elon Musk has also acknowledged this on X. In summary, Tesla's making efforts to expedite the production schedule of the Cybertruck model, with the promise of even faster progress in 2025 when issues related to the 4680 battery are resolved. However, the release of a video demonstrating the towing capacity of up to 11,000 pounds has left some customers disappointed. Questions about battery performance when using the Cybertruck for heavy towing on a regular basis, as well as concerns about the potential need for battery replacement after a year of hauling cargo are becoming crucial considerations for the majority of customers. Although we do not defend or deny these shortcomings, we believe that Elon Musk will promptly provide accurate and justifiable explanations. We trust in the transparency of Tesla and Elon Musk's commitment to future electric vehicle technology. With an impressive Cybertruck, we have reason to believe that customer concerns will be addressed, and this model will continue to be a significant breakthrough in the EV industry. So, what do you think? Do you feel disappointed knowing that Cybertruck can only drive 90 miles when towing 11,000 pounds in winter? Does this figure potentially eliminate the all-electric truck from your purchase decision? Share your opinions in the comments. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.